Hey all, it's Trainer Oblivio checking back in with episode 10 of the Pokemon Shield playthrough. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, quick update, I think I've finally gotten my voice back to uh, full. Uh, I'm not sounding so coarse anymore, I can speak a little bit louder and better for you guys and more thorough. So let's go ahead and just, just tackle episode uh, 10. In episode 9, we ended doing the Hammerlock part of the story. And we ended here on the beginning of Route 6, so we're just going to keep going now. We're going to see where we go. Okay, first trainer battle here on the route. Let's see what they got. My super cute Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. All right, well, we're ready to rock. So, actually, guys, we are following up from the episode before this one. I will be posting um, a lot of these episodes in succession. But just so that you guys know, um, I did an expose episode, so to speak, which shows off a lot of the wild. It shows off a lot of the wild area, a lot of areas that we missed and skipped over. It shows off the raid battles that we um, held off for a little while. It. Um, oh, we're gonna go ahead and copycat that, so we don't even get touched. Let me just eat that. Thank you very much. So. <clears throat> Sorry, so like I was saying, it shows off all of these things. It shows off a lot of the new gimmicks, the candies, the TRs, all these wonderful things. And I did happen to train my Pokemon a bit since then. So I know, sorry for you guys that kind of made the jump from Episode 9 straight to Episode 10. But um, as you can clearly see right here, we now have our uh, part of our, uh, half of our team. Well, actually, all of these guys are fully evolved now. We have Colossal, Weezing, and Inteleon. This happened in the previous, uh, I guess, sub-episode from this one. And uh, I just wanted to catch everybody up to speed in, in case you just hopped from episode 9 to here. But uh, let's uh, let's keep going here. Let's hit it with the headbutt. Man, I love Dog Ball. Oh, they both have Metronome. Okay. Maybe I can, this is a good move. I can copycat. Okay. Horn attack. Eh. Not bad. I can copycat that. Conserve on the headbutt. Uh... Power points. We do have horns, so you know, funny that it doesn't learn horn attack, but oh well. And of course, we have uh, Trainer <laughs> Miscellaneous checking into the studio. Uh, he's joining us yet again. So um, I'm going to copycat that move again just to finish it off. It's going to be super effective, so there's no reason not to. Steel is super effective against Fairy. And a, at a, a girl? Boy? I forget if our dub ball is a female. Our dub ball is a girl. Right, yeah. Nice. Colossal's our only dude on the team. We gotta get more dudes on the team. <laughs> Your Pokemon are way too strong. You'll be safe no matter where you go. That's the idea. So guys, in uh, I hope you guys have been having a good uh, holiday season. We're rapidly approaching, uh, you know, the final holidays of the year and the new year. Uh, that being said, I'm just gonna let you guys know that I am recording ahead of time uh, in rapid succession. I am. Oh, guys, look! It's a new Pokemon, Galarian uh, Yamask, and it's got a piece of like a ruin. Uh, that I'm pretty sure is part of the lure or something like that. It, it's, it's really cool um, to see these new Pokemon. And we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll hit it with the... Gosh, I don't know what the heck they hit it with. It's actually a pretty tanky Pokemon. So, uh, you know what? Let's show off Tarshot. Tarshot is a new move introduced in this generation. Um, basically, what it does is it reduces speed. It's a status, and it makes the Pokemon weak to fire moves. Being that we are a fire type, it effectively gives us the advantage because we now are hitting for super effective damage on Pokemon that originally wouldn't get hit with super effective damage. And we accidentally killed it. <laughs> if we find another one, we'll go ahead and catch it. I'm just really glad to be able to show off the new Pokemon to you guys. Um, I've been having a lot of fun, but back to my spiel. Um, I am recording... Uh, ahead of time so the oh a helioptile god I'm, guys i'm so mad i get so distracted with all these cute pokemon oh we definitely want that we're gonna try to find a way to get up there this looks like a little fishing hole there's like this one random fishing hole i wonder maybe this is like a phoebus like you can catch phoebus here or something that'd be kind of cool but no we just get a good old magic carp 
anyways, uh, Tar Shot's definitely part of the moveset, part of the gimmick that I'm trying to run with. Uh, Colossal could not run away from this. What level is it? I'm like, okay, all right, all right. I'll just use Ancient Power. Can you not? I really like Ancient Power. I'm heavily debating on whether we should replace it because Ancient Power is also part of the... Um, it's part of the moveset, it's part of the gimmick, but it's so low on power points, and um, at its max, it's only 8. So, I mean, that's not not really good. But I know that Power Gem is a TR in this game, and I'm wondering if uh, we could teach it that. It's got way more power points. Alright, well, we're going to keep going. Um, I can, wow, I can barely charge through this grass. Heliopthal. Gen 6 uh, Pokemon, really cute. Holy crap, <laughs> that's a really awesome animation or sound. Um, do you have dry skin? I feel like you might. Okay, so the parabolic charge animation didn't change too much from Gen 7. Um, yeah, that's a one shot that's probably got dry skin. Dry skin makes the Pokemon weak to fire moves, but immune to water. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to swap you for... Ooh, I get to show off Galarian Weezing. Sweet. Our newest addition to the team, by the way, we caught it a couple episodes ago. Um, I'm not avoiding these trainers. I just really want to get that TM over there. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to catch... We're going to catch Yamask because I really want one. Um... I don't think it's going to be part of the team. No, I don't think we have room for another team. But we do have Will-O-Wisp on Weezing, so we can... Oh, come on. We are now part fairy, so we resist dark moves. Galarian Weezing is a poison fairy type. I think it's a unique typing. I don't think we've had one of those since before this generation. Ooh, Crafty Shield. Good move. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit it with a Will-O-Wisp now. Yep. Okay. Well, let's do it one more time. I forgot to go to the... In my whole uh, expose episode, I think I forgot to heal my Pokemon, so that's pretty bad. Um, Alright. Nice. Okay. I will be catching this Pokemon, though, and showing it off. Um, I hope you guys have been having a good time with this series. I've been having a great time uh, recording it alongside Trainer Miscellaneous, having a lot of fun uh, experiencing this for the first time with you guys and giving you my genuine reaction to all the fun that I'm having. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a drink really quick. Alright, we're going to try that one more time. I don't really want to drag on the episode. If anything, I'll come back and catch it later if it doesn't want to get caught. Alright, cool. We got it. I also forgot to stock up on items. I'm such an idiot. Okay. Um, that's alright. Let's see. Let's add it to the Pokedex. Let's see what it says. Yamas, the spirit Pokemon. It's ground ghost in this game. It was originally just ghost in, in Generation 5. It's said that this Pokemon was formed when an ancient clay tablet was drawn from a vengeful to a vengeful spirit. Okay, well. This dude is vengeful, I guess. Well, let's check him out. It is hasty, sadly. Its ability is Wandering Spirit. The Pokemon exchanges abilities with the Pokemon that hits it with a move that makes direct contact. So, in other words, Wandering Spirit is exactly like Mummy being their uh, exclusive, or signature rather, um, ability. Like I said, it's hasty. We're going to go ahead and put it in the box. We don't really have a need for it. These uh, these Pokemon are starting to catch up to us in level, so even with the training that we did in the, in the, in the raid battles that we did, it looks like we're, we might have to do a little more coming up soon. Or hopefully not. I don't really like to waste too much time training. But we are going to fight all the trainers here. Battling is important to better understand Pokemon. Time for a checkup. Okay, weird. Oh, you guys are like a, like a nurse and a doctor. Okay, medical team, Iwan and Evelyn. Awesome. Hopefully you guys are able to hit my Pokemon then, because I forgot to. So, 
All right, Ponyard and Togetic. Awesome. Or target tick. I call it Togetic. Target tick. Same thing. It's made with the model. All right, so I know exactly what we're doing. We're going Sludge Bomb on the Fairy type. And we're going Double Kick on Ponyard. Wham. Alrighty. Punyard goes down. Snowball gets its health back. We gain experience. Sweet. We're finally starting to outpace at least a couple of Pokemon, and definitely we're stronger now that we're wheezing as opposed to coughing. I felt really bad having coughing faint all the time. But yeah, we're definitely putting the work in now with a high defense stat. I just get so, so, so concerned when I see injured Pokemon. What is real strength? I'm very curious. All right, well, can you guys heal my Pokemon? No. Okay. Well, what a fake out. What the heck? All right, whatever. Uh, we're going to put him in the back. And we're going to put Double Wall back up here. Hopefully, we'll get to show off Inteleon and some of his moves in a second. Um, I'll definitely show him off in this episode for sure. All right, let's go fight this trainer. I came from far away to watch the gym challenge. I love the opportunity to battle the gym challenger. Well, here's your opportunity, pal. Backpacker Diane. Backpackers are our trainer class, I think, from Gen 5. Oh, look, and look, she has a Generation 5 Pokemon. Ooh, bad matchup for us. Okay. Um, crud. Well, you know what? We're not going to flake out of this one. We're going to go for the headbutt. All right, it's poking up. Maybe another head, but wow, maybe I should have copycatted that poke up. That would have, would have helped. Flinch? No. Yikes. Okay, hang in the double. Don't worry, Mama. You're good. Oh, but. Oh, this will make us a little bulkier, I guess. Very nice move, Copycat. I, I enjoy it a lot. It could really turn the tides of a lot of battles. Um, I can see it helping, see it helping us out with a lot of ghost Pokemon and such. All right, well, it's just wasting time continuously using bulk ups. I think this double kick should do the trick. It's on very low health. I don't see it surviving another. Another, yep, that's that's the one right there. Alrighty. We got like one HP back, but some is better than none. Oh man, Inteleon leveled up before we could even. Very fast Pokemon. Nice. We'll be able, we'll, we'll show it off in a bit. Muy dramatico, fantastico. Nice. Oh, gosh, there's so many places to go and explore. I think there's like a... Yeah, there's a ladder over here. And I want to get that TM that's over there. So I think I'm going to go over this way first. Oh, sweet. A Pokemon Center. And a tent. Two rare bones. Whoa, that's cool. Aren't that, isn't that Keybone's held item? A model who's also strong in battle. That's who I am. You're a model? I suppose. Model Nicola. That's a cool name. Skaroopy. <laughs> I always like Skaroopy's uh, cry. It's very nice. <clears throat> We're running low on headbutt uh, power points. Hopefully we can uh, get to that Pokemon Center we see in the distance in just a bit here. Yes, we got the flinch, so we're just going to finish it off with another headbutt. Awesome. The double ball definitely leveled up there. Ponyard. Okay. Um, we're going to throw Colossal back in here. Colossal should be able to handle it. Incinerate this Ponyard. Ow. 
Not very necessary, but okay. Adios, pal. Can't wait till we start getting some levels on these guys, because uh, we're going to definitely start seeing some really nice moves, and you guys are going to see the strategies that I've got planned come together. Even if I lose who I am, the charm of Pokemon will never fade. This is entirely true. Alright, I think this way might be able to take us to uh, that TM we seen earlier, and then we can just double back this way. Before I do that, let me get uh, double out of up front and put Colossal up there. I like to evenly spread the... I'm pretty sure you guys remember that I like things balanced, and so I like to evenly spread the... The, um... Gosh, what am I trying to say? Oh, man. What the heck? Holy crap, it's a greeting. Look at these big boys. This thing is tanky. Like, it is a bulky Pokemon. It's got a lot of health. Um, so I think what we might do in this instance, we're going to go ahead and tar shot it. I'm going to go for a body slam. Shouldn't. Oh, God. Please don't paralyze. Oh, come on. All right. We're, let's finish this so we can. All right. Okay. That's cool. Do not spit anything at me, you butt. All right. Awesome. I did a lot of... Oh, of course you go to bed. You butt face. I'm gonna... Hmm. All right, let's do this thing. Get a crate. Oh, whatever. One more of these or wrap... No, nah, I'm not gonna go wrap a spin. I'm gonna go incinerate and... That should finish it off. Awesome. We got pretty lucky there not getting uh, stalled out by paralyzed turns or anything like that. Uh, cool, cool, cool. We got a good bit of experience from that. Oh, man. All right, whatever. We lost all the berries. We're going to definitely uh, paralyze heal. Get rid of that. And we're going we're gonna to throw a couple super potions on... Colossal, and then one on top wall. All right, cool. We are ready to rock again. What's up? Are you making curry? Are you filling your curry decks? Oh, that's right. We can make all sorts of different curries, and uh, there's a <laughs> there's a whole lot of different recipes and stuff. All right, so the other backpacker had a sock, so this one has a throw. Not a very good matchup. Um, this is why I'm glad I, we got Galarian Weezing, because our team was a little bit weak to fighting. But I'm still going to give it a go. I'm going to hit it with a tar shot, and then I'm going to use the incinerate strategy. All right, let's see what it does. It uses revenge. Okay. That might hurt a bit. Colossal is a very tanky Pokemon. Very capable of taking hits. High health and high defenses and... Golly, that's a one shot. Oh, we got a crit. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. So, as you can see, very nice defenses and big health. The strength of you and your Pokemon has made my mouth go numb. Or maybe it's the spicy curry you're eating. I'm so hooked on the curry decks that gathering ingredients has become uh, the main focus of my travels. Well, that's always. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay, guys, I can climb back up this way. Uh, all right, cool. So here's this. Steel wing. Awesome. That's TM30. The target is hit with wings of steel. This may also raise the user's defense a little. So I don't believe that I have any Pokemon with any winged aspect at all. <laughs> or wings. So I don't think yep, none of them can learn it. But not a big, uh, not a big deal. Not too concerned about that. We're gonna definitely. Oh, whoop, my bad. We're gonna definitely take uh, Colossal, get it out of, from up front, put Galarian Weezing up there. <coughs> We're gonna circle back, and I want to see what this item over here is. Why are you? Come on, run now. 
I want to see what this item down here is, and I want to read what these adventure t uh, tips are here. Trainer tips. You can use each technical machine or TM as many times as you'd like on your Pokemon. Teach your Pokemon moves of various types to give them an advantage against all kinds of different opponents in battle. Technical records or TRs can only be used once before they break, however. Be more thoughtful when choosing to use them. However, they did get around the aspect of the old TMs by making TRs ex incredibly accessible. They're very easy to get. Um, I never ran into this dude. They're very easy to obtain. Um, <coughs> we're going to run here. And um, they can be obtained through Dynamax raids very, very easily. Um, I think you get at least one or two, actually, if not more, every... Um, I want to get that, that Pokeball over there. It looks like another TM, actually. So we're going to go over this way instead of that way, and then we might double back over that way in a little bit. But back to what I was saying, you can obtain multiple TRs very easily through Dynamax Raids. Dynamax Raids are actually a really cool aspect of this game that I am enjoying thoroughly. Before we go over that way, I'm going to come over here. Let's take a little gizmo or whatever that person over there has. Whoops. Hello, Helioptile. I think we tried catching you, but we accidentally killed you. We'll catch you later, if need be. Alright. <clears throat> Light clay. Very nice. Very good defensive um, item. You can give... That's a hold item that if you give to your Pokemon, they will be able to extend the uh, turns of moves like Reflect, Light Screen. You found two fossilized fish. Wow. The fossil of an ancient Pokemon that once lived in the sea. Uh, what it looked like is a mystery. Cool. <clears throat> so apparently the gimmick for the fossils in this game is you can like mix and match them to make different kinds of fossils and different kinds of Pokemon, which is very nice. Oh, sweet dig. Oh, yeah. And so likely can extend the move of, of, of turns of like screen moves for more defense. Dig. The user burrows on in the ground and then attacks on the next turn. Let's uh, go ahead and organize it here in the bag. Um, Colossal can learn Dig, but I'm not too worried about it <coughs> as, uh, not too worried about it as he's not really a physical attacker and I don't want to teach him physical moves. When you're playing with Pokemon at camp, they sometimes get hungry. Make curry and eat with Pokemon and they'll be very happy. So let's make curry together in my camp, shall we? Maybe later. Kind of interested in this gizmo here. <coughs> oh gosh, I just skipped your dialogue. Let me let me restart. Okay, <laughs> fossils and Galar are broken up into top halves and bottom halves for some reason, huh? Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Perhaps within this mystery lies the key to understanding these combinable Pokemon, huh? That's cool. Well, I think I might have found. I mean, I found the top half or the bottom half of one fossil, so maybe <coughs> we can find some others and and I can show you guys one of the fossil Pokemon. I believe there's four of them in total in this game. But uh, that person over there, I guess, uses that mi little doohickey, that little machine, in order to restore the fossil Pokemon and uh, and get us fossil Pokemon. That's cool. I wonder if we can get uh, other fossil Pokemon, like Armaldo or Lilip. Hello. Pokemon is art, too, if we both give it our all. Oh, okay, are you an artist? Oh, oh gosh, gosh artist, artist Duncan, Duncan, you, you look, look like, like a crazed crazy maniac. maniac. <clears throat> They're not coughing. You look a little deranged, dude. I don't, I don't know what to. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, sweet. So my levitate went away. Crap. Okay. Well, mm, we'll hit you with the willow wisp and see what happens. I hope we don't get dittoed. <laughs> I hope we don't get hit with the willow wisp. All right, sweet. Smoke screen. Oh, but. All right. Well, I got the, I got the burn off on it. I don't particularly. 
Uh, gosh, I don't want to stay in. But I don't really have a whole lot to hit it with either. So we're just going to do our best. See how much a sludge bomb does. A lot. <laughs> that did quite a lot. <clears throat> Alright, hopefully we can finish off with the clear smog. And not miss. Alright, that seemed to do it. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Just clearing my throat a bit. I'm gonna get a drink. Alright, should we switch? I didn't even see what Pokemon was coming out. Gosh. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? Actually, I am going to swap here. I'm actually going to put a burn on it, and then I'll swap so that I can show off Inteleon and its new signature move, Snipe Shot. Or we'll just miss. Get hit with the Rock Slide. Yay. Oh, man. Pokemon can sometimes be a little infuriating. We're almost at that Pokemon Center, though. Okay, that's... What's the accuracy? Okay, I gotta check that. I know the accuracy on Willow Wisp isn't like terrible for it to be missing twice in a row. All right, third time's a charm. Gosh. Oh wait, God, I'm dumb, guys. We got smoke screen twice. No wonder. All right. Well, now that's not gonna be doing anything because you're burned. That being said, however, we're getting the crap out of here. Let's go see what the uh, snipe shot looks like. It's our fully of oh, that is so awesome! It's our fully evolved uh, starter, guys. All right, so let's see what the uh, snipe shot's all about. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's very nice. Okay, you're okay now? Your moves were beautiful. Oh my, I'm completely fascinated by them. You're very creepy. I'm going to get as far away from you as I possibly physically can. Adios. Alright. Wow, these look like little... That looks like Diglets. That's cool. Oh, oh, so the, what we've seen in this instance was a uh, uh, town. This is Stowe inside. Awesome. Brongzong, one of Trainer Miscellaneous' favorite Pokemon. Brongzong. So, so I believe, guys, this is... Uh, welcome to the town of Stowe inside. A vibrant town that has grown up around an ancient mural tucked away in the mountains. This is pretty cool. Just getting here was so satisfying, I can't imagine what seeing the ruins will feel like. Well, let's heal up and talk to everybody, and then we'll see what happens. <clears throat> oh, hello, dude. My Pokemon are the ones that train. I just dressed apart, that's all. Oh, <laughs> okay. Training on the mountain, what a stoic black belt you are. Oh, that's what they were talking about. So let's just go ahead and heal first. Our team is looking mighty fine, guys. All right, we should be coming up on our fifth team member pretty soon. Although I do want to get him in a raid because I want his hidden ability or hers, whatever there. Hey, I have tons of good stuff. I'll share some with you. Okay, thanks. Two fossilized drakes. Oh, okay. Wow, I'm actually going to be able to show off the fossils to you guys. Um, I might just cut to that bit in a little bit so I don't waste a lot of time and then cut right back here to the town. So... Uh, fossilized Drake, the fossil of an ancient Pokemon that once roamed the land. What it looked like is a big mystery. Listen, I'll give you some tips about fossils. The professor on Route 6 will restore fossils for you. If you want to collect different fossils, go to the wild area, search for them by yourself, or ask the digging duo. Awesome. Hello, my dude. So, yeah, actually, I'm going to... Maybe we can remember a move on some of our evolved Pokemon that we might need. And that'd be pretty great. Uh, yes, yeah, sweet. Strain. Oh, God, we have two moves that we got to learn here. 
So Strange Steam is one of the moves that I wanted to learn. It's a fairy type move, and I think it's exclusive to Galarian Weezing. The user attacks the target by emitting steam. This may also confuse the target. So we're definitely going to learn that. We're going to learn that in place of clear smog because we don't need two poison moves. We already have the one. Sludge bomb. Sweet. Yes, and then we're going to keep that going because I want Galarian Weezing to have this incredible coverage move right here. Heat Wave. Heat Wave is a strong special fire move. The user attacks by exhaling hot breath onto opposing Pokemon. This may also leave the Pokemon with a burn. So we're going to go ahead and teach Heat Wave. Um, although I'm really, really debating on whether I should have Assurance or if I should keep uh, Will of Wisp. Will of Wisp is a very good defensive move. Um, it's helped us out. Quite a lot, actually, by buffing our, our, our defenses or definitely helping out a not-defensive Pokemon like uh, our Sobble or Inteleon now, sorry. So, uh, crap. I think, well, since Heat Wave has a chance to burn, um, it's not like a 100% burn like this. Mm. Turns could technically help us out in a pickle. You know what, we're just going to go for it, and we're going to get rid of Will-O-Wisp, okay? I know it's a good defensive move, but I'd rather have Heat Wave. Um, I, just out of curiosity, I definitely want to see what our other Pokemon might be able to remember here. Acrobatics. That's a cool move. Although we're not a physical Pokemon, but cool either way. Yeah, we'll give up. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Colossal, maybe can Colossal learn something that we, we might need? Flame Charge, Rock Polish, no. These are just some of his old moves. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give up for right now. And finally, we're going to Peep Dub Wall. What should I remember? Okay, never mind. We don't have anything to teach. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Glad that we're here. Takedown has more power points. It's slightly less accurate, but a lot. S it's stronger than Headbutt. Has more power points, so we don't run out so quickly. And since I have the Shell Bell on a uh, Dub Wall, I'm not really concerned for recoil damage because it'll just heal it up anyway. So I think we're gonna go ahead and replace Headbutt with Takedown. It's gonna be probably much better, and it's gonna help us out. So. Like I said, guys, I'm going to cut right back. Well, actually, let me step outside real quick so that we're in the town. I'm going to cut right back here, still inside, and as soon as I... Well, actually, I'm going to cut over to the fossil uh, professor so that I'm not dragging on the episode, tracking my way back to her. I'm going to show off the fossil Pokemon to you guys, and then I'm going to cut right back here to the town so we're not wasting a lot of time. All right? I'll peep you guys in just a sec. Alrighty, so we're going to cut back in right here. This is the professor that uh, revives the fossils here. So we're going to talk. Hmm, you've got some fossils there. Huh, will y you show them to me, uh, Carolis? Okay, Carolis. Like Carolis? Haha. Uh -huh. Like you're Carolis with these fossils? Which of your fossils do you think stands up to the higher standards of Carolis? Uh, fossilized fish, I guess? Which of your fossils do you think will pique the curiosity of Carolus? I guess the fossilized drake. So should I restore fossilized fish and fossilized drake together? Yeah, I, I guess. Okay, restoration time. Let's unravel the mystery of these fossils. All right, I'll stick them together. Here we go. Um, what did you do, man? Objective complete. It seems the restoration was a great success. Yes, I can see it in its eyes. This is a Pokemon that walked the face of Galar in ancient times. Please take care of this Pokemon. Huh? Yes, we got Dracovish, guys. Dracovish is a really cool Pokemon. I believe it's a water dragon type. Uh, <laughs> look how derpy it is. Yeah, I don't think that they should be mixing them together like this, but oh well. It is water dragon. Dracovish, the fossil Pokemon. Its mighty legs are capable of running at speeds exceeding 40 miles per hour, but this Pokemon can't breathe unless it's underwater. So, a uh, bit of a... <laughs> bit of a... A mix up there. Would you like to give a nickname to Dracovish? No. Um, he's added to the party, but we're just gonna go ahead and show him off right here. And then obviously put him in the in the box. Wow, level ten. A bit low. But that's cool. Wow, that's a cool uh sound right there. Water absorb, very good uh, ability. I like that. One of my favorite abilities. Uh restores HP if hit by water type move instead of taking damage. 
It's got tackle, water gun, and protect. It's hasty, and it's mischievous. So it's got some some good IVs and stuff. It seems pretty balanced all around. Um, good H good attack, good special attack, good special defense, good defense, and good speed. Or at least they're all in the same ballpark. So we're gonna go ahead and box this dude. Um, if I have more uh, fossils, or if I run across more fossils, or whatever the case may be. I'll definitely uh, show them off to you guys and um, try to complete the decks. Alrighty. So that was the fossilized fish and fossilized drake put together that makes Dracovish. That's the first of the many combinations here in Galar. I'm going to cut back to Stow inside. I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, guys. As promised, we are jumping right back in here in the Stow inside. Let's go ahead and see the dialogue. Every time I see the ruins, I'm enamored of them. Why are they so appealing to me, I wonder? We're using the mural to bring more business to our town. Actually, we've been doing that for a long time now. Well, that's good. Using the geography to, to promote business. All right, welcome. Have a look at our bargains. Okay, sure. Today's bargain is a ring target. It's 3,000 Poké Dollars. You still want it? Um, shoot, I guess we've got some money to spare. Why not? Ring target's a good... Um, Good held item. <laughs> Very situational, but I will definitely be showing it off in uh, post-game teams. An item to be held by a Pokemon. Moves that normally have no effect will land on a Pokemon holding it. For example, if I am a normal type, I am unaffected by ghost moves. But if the normal type is holding the ring target or vice versa, they will be hit by moves that usually don't have an effect. So what's the next bargain? I'm going to get a quick claw. Okay, cool. That might be helpful. All right. Well, what about you? Hey, how about doing an errand for me? If you can bring what I need today, I, I'll give you a good reward. Um, today I'm buying a big pearl for 12... Okay, you're buying a big pearl. Do I have a big pearl? Okay, well, that would have been nice to have all that. Oh, well. Whatever. Not a big deal. My uncle's Pokemon here is slacking off. The Pokemon that we hired for the Poke job is looking sharp, though. Hey, it's a Bronzong. Um, where's your mouth? I guess right there in the center. <laughs> Can Bronx Song really make it rain? That's, that's what it's uh, fabled to do. I want to wear Bronx Song on my head. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but you know, you do you, kid. Oh, can we go behind the building? Oh, yes, we can. Hey, little Diglett squad back here. You guys do you. Chilling it up. Hey, I get to be a hooligan and climb up on the roofs of buildings? Hell yeah. Uh, if you must know some things about me, I really like, um, I was enamored with, like, parkour at one point. I guess you had, you could say I had, like, a little bit of a parkour phase. Not really, because I didn't do a lot of parkour myself, but I do enjoy, like, climbing buildings and stuff and just getting to higher places to have a higher perspective. It's really nice. Uh, let me, sorry. Uh, hey there. Uh, you happen to catch a lot of Maractus. How about trading one for my Impidimp? Ooh, Impidimp is a Pokemon that I wasn't able to run into, and I do have a Maractus, so uh, I don't see why. Oh, what? Oh, well, you know what? Uh, I am going to... No, you know what? I'm not going to drag this on. I will do this off screen because there is a Maractus in the route that we were just in just outside of Stoneside. So I'll do that off screen and show you guys later. We got Venishock. Cool. All right, Venishok. The user drenches the target in a special poisonous liquid. The move's power is doubled if the target is poisoned. Very good move. Um, don't know that I have a need to teach it to any of my Pokemon currently, though. So let's see where it is. It's right here. All right, cool. We're going to hop down. But yeah, I, I do like doing some crazy stunt stuff sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> I was always that kid that could, like, walk on his hands and do crazy shit and, you know, like, um, what am I trying to say? I would love the monkey bars and just stupid things like that. Alrighty. Gotta keep stirring the pot. Make sure it doesn't burn, but also don't spill it. Yes, be very careful. Temperature control is very important for cooking. You need to heat food thoroughly. This is true. In order to be able to cook it thoroughly and not eat anything that you're not supposed to. Ooh, an item. Got some special attacks. 
Why not buy some ruined souvenirs? They're quite valuable, you know. You can only get them here. Okay. Where are they? I've already got enough luggage, mate. They do look cool, though. Ah, it's Hop. All right. So let's go ahead and see what Hop wants. Trainer Oblivio. Ah, uh, you've been a bit depressed lately, haven't you? I'm going to get a sip real quick, guys. I'm still not too sure what I should do about all the stuff I told you before. Am I being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all? Yeah. But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm going to try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. You're on. Then let's do this. <coughs> I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help get my head on straight. If you say so, bud. But you're losing this one, too. All right. Let's do this. Challenged by a Pokemon Trainer Hat. Hop. He's got a Crammer in. Okay, cool. Cool new Pokemon with a cool new ability. Um, oh, gosh. All I'm after is victory, and I'm counting on you. Okay, well, I don't know that you're going to get victory with me, but uh, you know what? Let's go on and ahead and show off Strange Steam since it's a new move. Fury Attack. I don't know that you're going to be hitting a whole lot. Yeah, that was a crit. Very defensive Pokemon. Weezing is very defensive. Did hit four times, however. <coughs> Strange Steam. That's cool. I like that animation. We're going to heal up a good bit of that damage. We're going to hit it with a Sludge Bomb now. Okay, cool. We're going to be able to see the Pokemon's ability now. Kind of a bummer, though. I missed that Sludge Bomb. But no matter. We're going to hit another one just to finish it off. Cramorant used Dive, and when it comes back out of the water, it has a Pokemon in its mouth. That's hilarious. It has a Pikachu. And it's going to use... Ooh, yikes. That did a lot of damage and paralyzed me. So that's one of uh, Cramorant's little gimmicks with this Gulp Missile. Very funny. Kind of knowing we got the paralysis off Silicobra. So this is a Pokemon that I debated for a while to have on the team. Um, gosh, we're immune to ground because we have Levitate, but we got the we got paralysis, and I don't know if I want to keep him in here. We'll just make this quick. We'll make quick work of Hop so that we don't drag this on too long. That's so cool. Silicobra, very nice. I might off screen also try to find one of these guys because they're very cool and I definitely want them on a post game team or something like that. What him with a snipe shot. Wham. That is a one shot. Who wouldn't aim for a super effective hit if they had one? Yep, this is true. Alright, we're doing pretty good. We want Trainer Hop is about to send out Toxel. Okay, you got a Toxel on your team now. Very nice, very nice. Who do we use on Toxel? Huh. Buns. What's an electric poison type? <laughs> it's still a little baby though. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We'll, you know what? We'll just try to brute force it. We'll see what if a snipe shot will one shot it. I know it's an unevolved form, so it might be still pretty weak. Yep, just as I expected. Down goes the Toxel. Raboot. Okay, cool. So we uh, <laughs> have our fully evolved starter. I don't want to end his whole life, but we're going to end his whole life with Colossal. <clears throat> I don't know what I can do to try to win now, but all I can do is try. There's nothing else to it. This is true. All you can do is try, guys, even if you think you're back into a corner. But we're going to try to finish this right here with a... Okay. Nice, nice. We're going to try to finish this right here with an ancient power. I'm not sure that we'll succeed, but we're definitely going to try, just like Hop said. Sweet. Big damage. We're going to go ahead... He may heal, so I'll just go for another ancient power. Yep. Okay. 
Hopefully that's not enough to Okay, this might be this might be GG. And that's it right there. Raboots down and uh that's our rival battle with Hop. We're looking pretty good on levels too, guys. We might not have to do that training after all. My strategy goes right into the pot when all I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. <coughs> we'll clear them out, man. You gotta take a spa day or something. Relax. Hmm. I tried switching my team members in and out to max their potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. Belize really the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I've got to try harder and harder and harder until no one's laughing. I'm off, mate. Off to find kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. All right. Oh, well, good luck to you, dude. Oh, my. Why do Why you do, do that? that? You don't, don't creep, creep up, up on me, man. man. That's, That's the second, second time. time. I don't. Oh, I oh, I'm going to swing on an old lady, bro. Jesus. Jesus be doing that that child gym later gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own pokemon why worry about saving the champion's name we all know he's unbeatable anyway here's something for letting me watch your battle yeah i didn't even know you were there alistair's lead card okay you put the lead card in your album now go on child you're headed to the stone inside gym next no the gym challenge is about having fun yeah that's what pokemon's mostly about anyways I believe Opal is one of the gym leaders. We did see her at the opening ceremony. Uh, so I guess we'll have our run in with her pretty soon. This, however, looks to be the ghost type gym. Uh, and the gym leader's name is Alistair. But uh, looks we're going to get to that fight next episode, guys. And then we'll go on and explore to the right and to the left of me here, whatever's going on. So I guess I'll be uh, checking out right here, guys. I'll see you in episode 11. Hope you guys had a good time. I'll see you in a round. Trainer Oblivio, checking out.